there were a few key features that you really need to understand when you're working with OSPF. And the main one of those is the link state database. Now the link state database is comprised of link state advertisements, LSAs. And to really understand OSPF, you need to understand those LSAs. Let's have a quick look at those and see if we can try and break them down bit by bit. The first LSA to understand is the type one router LSA. Now, the type one router LSAs are generated by each router within an area and they describe the state and cost of a router's links, but they can never leave the local area. Next up is the type two network LSA. This is originated by the designated router on a broadcast link and the type two network LSA is going to describe all the routers that are attached to that particular segment. Then we have type three and type four summary LSAs. The type three LSA is generated by the area border router detailing networks that are outside of that area. And the type four ASBR summary LSA describes the location of the ASBR. Next up, we have the type five external LSAs. And when routes are redistributed into OSPF from an external routing protocol, or, or maybe even a static route or a default route, these are going to be described in a type five external LSA. And then last but not least, the ones that we're going to cover here is the type seven NSSA external LSA. This is going to be used when the areas are not so stubby area, and this NSSA area is going to block type five LSAs. So let's take a closer look at the LSAs in an OSPF area. We know that a type one router LSA is generated by each router describing the router's interface and its neighbors. Then the designated router sends type two network LSAs into the area relating the prefix and subnet mask of the network and also describing all the routers that are connected to the broadcast link. This is intra area communication as it happens in the same area. Next, the ABR attached to the area sends a type three summary LSA describing IP prefixes learned from router and network LSAs into other OSPF areas. This is inter area communication as it happens between areas. The ASBR itself generates a type five external LSA to describe prefixes that have been redistributed into OSPF from a different routing protocol. The ABR also generates a type 4 ASBR summary LSA to inform all remote routers on how they can get to the ASBR. All of these LSAs are flooded into all areas, providing full reachability. We should actually be able to see most of these LSAs that we've just described on our particular lab. Let me look on R1 first. And on R1, we can see we have router LSAs, which are generated by each router describing the state and cost of their links. We can see summary LSAs originating from 2.2.2.2.2, which is the ABR. In this, we've got an external LSA which comes from ourselves. This is an external LSA and it's coming from us, which is 1.1.1.1. So 1.1.1 R1 is generating a router LSA and also an external LSA. Let's jump over to R3 and have a look there. Now R3 has two router LSAs for area zero. The first, so it has two router LSAs. The first one 
is generated from its neighbor which is 2.2.2 and obviously it generates one for itself can anyone tell me why we're not seeing a network LSA I'll give you five seconds from now yeah that's right over there in the back it's because all of our links are configured as point to point and the network type 2 LSA is only generated on a broadcast network so if the interface type was broadcast then the network LSA would be generated we also have an AS summary generated by 2.2.2 .2 and this is a type 4 LSA which tells us the location of the ASBR that is this one here it's being generated by 2.2 .2 and it tells us that the location is 1.1.1 which is R1 and we have an external link which is also advertised by 1.1.1 as long as we know the LSA types then it's not so bad to actually try to read the link state database we have a good idea of what's happening in the topology okay a very short video here a brief one but it's a good overview of reading the link state database we can actually dig a, di a dig a bit deeper in the link state database by doing show router OSPF database type and then router and we will and it will only show us the router LSAs or the network LSAs or the summary LSAs so we can actually delve a bit deeper and have a bit more of a detailed look but this is it for the LSA video time to move on to stub areas